Hello everyone, this is Mike Urigan at Golf Brevard. We're at Habitat today and uh, Mr. Stephen Proctor is here, our chairman of the nonprofit, and we're going to discuss a little bit of our Greens project at Spessar Holland next year and uh, Mr. Proctor, it's all yours. Thank you Mike. Well I'm very happy to tell you that the Board of Directors has voted to approve moving forward with the restoration of all the Greens at, ha at Spessar Holland beginning next summer. And we have also taken what we think is a very wise step for our players uh, by agreeing to invest in a sod project rather than sprigging the greens uh, individually, which would take much, much longer. If you sprig the greens and let them grow from just basically seedlings, it takes five months to get the greens in shape to be played on, although it's quite a lot cheaper. If you use sod that is specially grown for you, and one of the things we've agreed to do is to have sod specially grown for us in North Carolina for this project at much greater expense, something on the order of $200,000 extra. But if you do it that way, your greens can be ready to play in six to eight weeks. And that is the, the method that we've decided we like to take as a group. So beginning on May 1st next year, we're going to be addressing an array of problems at Spessard Holland, starting with the green replacement themselves. In order to replace greens that are contaminated, like the ones we have at Spessard, you need to dig down deeply, about 18 inches to two feet, to make sure you have all the contamination out of the soil before you put down new soil and put your sod on top of it to make new greens. The soil that we do take out of those greens will be used to address the irrigation issue that we have in the 18th fairway. We're going to have change the fairway contouring there to make sure the water runs off into our pumping system much better and doesn't puddle in the fairway as it does now. We will also be taking steps to address the drainage problems on number one, where after a rain everybody knows that the fairway over there to the left is full of water, and the same on 17 and 13. That area across those two holes that gets quite wet during a heavy storm will also be addressed uh, during this project. So when this is over, not only will Spessard have the best greens in Brevard County by a mile, um, it'll also have none, no more of the drainage issues that we've been dealing with as players for many, many years now. That's something really wonderful to look forward to. The grass type that we're using is Tiff Eagle Bermuda, and it's the very latest thing in grass for our climate area. It produces a wonderful putting surface that can be made to be quite fast. Uh, when we first have the greens in, we'll be getting the sod at a quarter of an inch, and it will take some time to have it grow in to the point where we can cut it lower and make it run faster. At the beginning, it will be true, but the speed will not be as high as it will ultimately be. Um, a couple other things I wanted to address about greens that I know players like me are probably thinking about. The greens will basically have the same size, shape, and undulations that they have now when this project is finished. We will try to maintain um, the feel of the greens as you've always known them. There may be some changes to certain greens, in particular number 18 and number 9, where the back portions of those greens are so sloped that it's not really possible to get a pin location back there or there are very limited pin locations. So we may make some modest changes there to level things out a little bit in an area that might allow for further pin locations and make for more interesting and varied golf as we go along. This project is going to be another expensive project. The total cost of having the greens dug up and the sod together is about $800,000. Obviously, we would need to have the course closed during this period of time uh, to because there'll be so much heavy equipment around on the golf course, and Spessard is not one. Uh, many of the holes don't lend themselves to temporary greens. So our plan at the moment is to have the golf course closed for at least six weeks starting on May 1st. Um, obviously, that raises a lot of questions for people, and the board will be discussing those over time. You know, we want to try to do every single thing we can to accommodate our leagues at our other course at Habitat. Uh, we'll probably also keep the facility open for dining and things like that, uh, and maybe some fun putting contests or whatever. But we'll be looking for ways to keep people engaged with their golf course during that period of time, if that's possible. And as a minimum, you know, people might want to come over for lunch and, and just take a look at what's going on with the construction project, and that can be 
exciting for people looking forward to just really uh, this will put Spessard Holland at the top of the tree as far as golf in Brevard County is concerned and we're very very excited about that for all of you as players we will obviously also need to look into um, into pricing to the extent that we're able to afford any changes in the current membership prices to reflect this for the people who play their golf at Spessard. Uh, that's, a, that's a difficult situation when you're already going to have something on the order of a million dollar expense by the time this is all said and done because of course you lose revenue during the period of time that the course is closed and that goes on top of the costs you have. So very minimum we're looking at about another million dollars here. We spent a million six on the project at Habitat and that's gone quite smoothly and in spite of that our uh, financial picture continues to be strong obviously we'll be monitoring that um, coming up during the year we already do have a line of credit that we could draw on if necessary to uh, make the uh, operations smooth during the time that we execute all these changes at Spessard Holland but I hope you will feel just as I do that this is a really very very exciting announcement for Golf Brevard and what it will mean is at the end of next summer, in July, when we reopen, Golf Brevard will be really positioned to thrive for the next 30 years. We have a 10-year contract. The very likelihood is that that will be extended for another 10 years when it ends. And so we have a long-term future with brand new irrigation, brand new pumping stations at both places, and now the very best greens in all of Brevard County at Spessard when this is said and done. So I, as a player, am looking forward to it immensely. I hope you are. And we're very, very happy and proud to be able to do this so quickly after signing our 10-year contract. And I have to end this now by thanking Mike because the bottom line of it is everything that has been accomplished by Golf Brevard has been accomplished because of Mike Mike's wisdom in leading the board through what needs to be done to succeed and the board's uh, wisdom in listening to Mike and taking his advice and, and letting him show us how to make these golf courses uh, as fabulous as they've become. And so uh, we're very grateful to Mike and, uh, and really especially grateful to all of you who continue to play and to support Golf Brevard. Obviously, we will need that to continue all through this year and into next year so that our financial position is strong as we enter another period of big expense. And we, uh, you know, obviously will need your patience and enthusiasm during the summertime months, uh, two months when these courses are not open for play. The Spesser course is not open for play. So I uh, wanted to give everybody a fill in on that. Uh, we're really looking forward to this with great enthusiasm. We hope you are too and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Proctor. I appreciate those kind words, uh, but the staff and everyone has done a fantastic job. Um, I will be doing a video uh, probably later today and then in the next few days. Uh, just I'll, we'll videotape and I'll give you a kind of an outline of what we're going to do and how, how the drains and everything will work in the greens. But, um, you know, we're excited about the future. Um, everybody talks about, well, how good your greens are when you come by and, uh, you know, we're not going to ever make them too fast. Uh, unless we have to or want to, but uh, again, we want to thank uh, all of you. want to thank the board and their support, and uh, we'll see you on the golf course soon. Thank you.